All right, today we're going to be comparing the Dyson V6, V7, and V8 cordless vacuum models to see which one is right for you. The first thing that I'll mention is that with the V6, V7, and V8, each one of those versions come in different subcategories. So for example, with the V8, it comes in the V8 Absolute, the V8 Animal, and the V8 Carbon Fiber. Uh, similar things happen with the different versions. Basically, those subcategories are about different attachments. So no matter which type of version 8 you get, it's going to be the same basic unit. It's going to be have the same recharge time and suction power, etc., etc. So once you decide on a version, then you want to decide which attachment package that more fits your needs. So with the differences, where they differ is operating time, suction and recharge time and a few other minor things but let's just get into the operating time the v6 up to 20 minutes and that's on low power that it goes down to only six minutes on max power mode for the v6 so 20 minutes and six minutes for the v6 for the v7 30 minutes on low power mode and six minutes on high power mode the v8 40 minutes on low power mode and seven minutes on high power mode so you see a trend upward in terms of operating time and that's because of a bigger battery a bigger motor uh, as it progresses upwards the suction power is the same for the first two the v6 and v7 have 100 air watts of uh, suction power the v8 jumps up 15 air watts so 115 air watts not too many in the grand scheme of things but it does have uh, better suction the bin volume is just about the same with all of them. It, it, it's exactly the same with the V7 and V8 and is down to uh, 0.11 gallons as opposed to 0.14 uh, for the V6. And finally is charge time. Charge time actually trends the other direction. It takes longer to charge the newer vacuum. So the V6 has 3.5 hours of recharge time per battery. The V7 has four hours, and the V8 has five hours of recharge time. And that's because, as I said, it's a bigger motor, it's a bigger battery, it's doing a lot more work, and so it needs to recharge longer. So in conclusion, these are remarkably similar vacuums. They differ mainly in their operating time, their recharge time, their max suction power, and just slight differences in bin volume and weight. I'll put links to Amazon in the description, and thanks for watching.